takes the whole class to arrive. I like this idea of arriving one part of yourself at a time, one part of your body at a time. This is good. If your legs are out long, bring the soles of the feet down to the ground, point your knees up, and let's sort of rock along the feet here. And lifting the heels and then setting the heels down and lifting up the ball mounds and the toes. My ankles are cracking, maybe yours are too. <laughs> Good. And then we're going to set the whole foot down and let's rock the knees from side to side. Good. Feeling the edges of the feet now. Noticing your inner and outer ankle. Good. And of course, the knees, the pelvis, fingers in your hip sockets. And arms out past your head. If that feels right, notice the side of the waist, the rib, the shoulder. And then the elbows, wrists, and hands. Good. And from here, if you can, interlace your fingers and then just flip your palms out past your head. A uh, nice big stretch for your wrists, palms of your hands. Good, a deep breath in. Nice big breath out. Ooh, I release the arms down alongside you. And then you can place a block under the back of your head or you can do a block three, but we'll just rock the head side to side a little bit to kind of loosen up some of the tension in the back of the neck and the base of the skull. I like to think of this as like my uptight thought remover. <laughs> But things get really tense up there. Sometimes I just rock my head side to side. And soften the face. And last couple breaths. Um, okay, let's take that block out from underneath. Yeah, and we're going to send that right back and just roll the right ankle around. You might clasp behind that right thigh or knee if you want to, but, or maybe not. <laughs> maybe just holding the foot up. And if you want to extend that left leg out long, it's another option. And it's spending a few moments at the back of that right leg. Let your belly soften a bit. And maybe a gentle rock of that right leg from side to side. Go ahead and just set that right leg down on the ground. Good. From here, um, you can rock your pelvis side to side, kind of pick up your glutes and draw them in towards the tailbone so that the low belly, the front of the low belly gets a little bit broader, a little more spacious. Good. From here, we're gonna pull those knees into the chest, lift the head. Good. We'll set that right foot down on the ground and then send that left foot up and roll the ankle around a few times. Good. As you roll the ankle around, feel the back of the leg. Good. You might extend that right leg out nice and long on the ground. Good. And then rock that left leg from side to side. Okay, big breath in. And you have to extend that right leg down to the ground, nice and long. We'll reach the arms out past the head here. And then let's walk the feet on over to the right. Dress that right ankle on top of the left. And then your shoulders might also scoot over to the right as well. 
And maybe the hands are behind the head and the elbows are wide for banana pose. And when you feel good and ready, come on back through to the center. And then we'll walk that on over to the other side. So heels to the left. And maybe the shoulders scoot to the left a bit as well. Hmm. Oh, a big breath here. Okay, let's come on back through to the center. And once you get here, bring the soles of the feet down to the ground. We're going to tuck those elbows in close to the body, lift up the pelvis, take a bridge pose. And as you find the bridge pose, think about engaging downward through the ball mounts of the feet, engaging the glutes upward, and then muscles that surround the spine will lift up as well. Good, full breath in here, lift it high. And then exhale, lower yourself on down to the ground. And rock the knees from side to side here. And just listen to the sound of the next few breaths. Maybe rub your belly if it suits you. And a deep breath in. Big breath out. And then let's bring the knees into the chest. You're gonna lift up the head towards the knees if that feels okay to do so. You can rock around on the middle of the back, the lower back. And then eventually we're gonna bring ourselves up and through into a child's pose. So maybe you're rocking along the length of your spine and then making your way into child's pose. Maybe um, you want to sit up and sip some tea and then find child's pose. Yeah, but you can just bring your head down to the ground or maybe your forehead onto the top of a block and roll out your brow. Come up onto hands and knees, and then back into downward facing dog if it suits you. And if you want to stay on hands and knees and wiggle around for a little bit, you're welcome to do that. If you're ready for that down dog, yeah, stretch the arms and legs long with those hips. Drop the head, give a little shake. Eventually meaning on hands and knees or down dog. Let's take an inhale and look forward. And then exhale and step that left foot up to the top of the mat. So we're gonna drop the right knee down. Hands might be on two blocks for a low lunge on either side of that left foot. And maybe you wanna pick up that back knee. <laughs> totally up to you. And then a deep breath in and out. Awesome. And then let's step that right foot forward, standing forward, fold, drop the head down. And inhale halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Good. Inhale halfway lift again. Exhale and fold. Good. Inhale halfway lift. And this time, take your blocks out in front of you and also lift the heels away from the ground. Um, nice strong leg, nice strong spine. And exhale and fold again. Good. We're going to step that left foot to the back of the mat. Find your lunge. Maybe the knee drops. Maybe the knee stays lifted. Spend a few moments feeling the front of that left hand. Yeah, and maybe there's some steadiness here, or maybe you're rocking a little bit front to back or side to side. Good, 
Good. Eventually, we'll make our way back into a downward facing dog, our hands and knees. And we're just hang for a few moments. I have come through some cats and cows. We're pedaling it out. Good. And then let's find a child's pose. Knees come to the ground. Arms extended out nice and long in front of us. Inhale, slide the heart through in between the hands. Lift it up, low pull bone. Lift over to here. Facing dog again. Good. From your downward facing dog, send the right leg up and back, nice and high. Exhale, step that right foot forward. We'll drop that left knee down. Inhale, sweep those arms up. Good. Take the hands on down to frame that foot. Step forward. Uttanasana, standing forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Five, back then. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step that right foot all the way to the back. Drop the knee down. Let's breathe in and sweep those arms high. A big inhale here. Exhale, step the hands down. And come on into downward facing dog or hands and knees. Feel free to wiggle around a little bit on hands and knees. Pedal it out and down dog. Good, and then we'll find extended child's pose again, tucking the knees to the ground. Good, inhale, slide the heart through in between the hands. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Good. Right leg, or sorry, left leg reaches up. Set the left foot in between the hands. And let's come up into a high lunge here. And if you find this high lunge, make sure your feet are kind of broad, two separate tracks. Uh, hands come down, frame the foot. Standing leg lift, right leg reaches high. And then step your right foot down. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, all the way down. Good, left foot steps all the way back. And let's find this high one. Good, make sure your feet are up to Again. Grab them. Exhale, hands come on down. Set that downward facing dog. And then maybe you want to roll forward to high plank. Maybe you want to lower down to the ground, chaturanga. Maybe you want to lift up the heart for a cobra and come on back. Maybe you want time for rest. Take a couple more inhales and exhales. Back in your down dog, you're moving through your flow. Good, inhale, look forward. Exhale, step, walk or hop to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Good, breathe in, come all the way up, reach up. And then hands to the heart, mouth pose. So then here for just one moment, nice and tall. And breathe in, reach up, look up, and then exhale back, yourself forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, take it back. Find a flow that works for you tonight. Big wiggling on hands and knees, finding chaturanga, maybe a cobra or up dog. On your way back into down dog or hands and knees. Good, breathe 
good. Wherever you end up, whatever you're doing, feels right. Take a couple breaths. Good, inhale, look forward. Exhale, step, walk, or hop to the front. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, and hold. Great, hey, let's inhale and come all the way up again. We're going to stand up on the toes, maybe. Feel the heel. Feel a little wobble in here, maybe. Maybe go really steady. Good. If you can, drop the elbows down while you're up on your shoulders. And then if you can, hug your arms around you. Okay, if you're still up on your toes. And then let's sit down. Chair pose, a little hug. Feeling the low ribs lifting up. Head relaxes. And then swim the arms back behind you, interlace the fingers. Exhale, fold forward. Good, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, take it back and through. Do your thing, whatever it is. Exhale, step walker, hop to the top. Breathe in halfway lift when you get there. Exhale, fold it in. All right, come on up, reach high. Stand up on those toes again. And then let's see if you can drop those elbows down again. Good. And hug around maybe the other way. Remember which arm is on the bottom of the floor. Switch it out. Set the heels down. Chair move. Okay, you can walk your fingers around the side of the chest. Go for it. And then let's swim those arms open. Interlace the fingers behind. Fold it on forward. Yep. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, your flow through. Your flow through. You get back to your down dog, your hands and knees, inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk step, hop to the top. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold yourself in. Breathe in, come all the way up. Reach those arms nice and high. Let's interlace the fingers overhead. Make the feet a little wider. And let's move the upper body around in a little bit of a circle. It's a little different for all of us. Okay, maybe your elbows are through the fence. Maybe your arms straighten out. You might lean far forward and bend far to the side, or it might be a little movement. So let's go the other way. Okay, let your face soften. Good. And then go ahead and through the center, drop those arms down. Hands to the hips and we'll take the hips and the hips. As you turn your hips around, let your knees move to feel your feet on the ground. Good. We'll go the other way. Let's be sort of driving this movement in some way. Really grounding you. Good. And eventually, we'll reach the arms up and over the head. Just a little back bend. Exhale, fold it on forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, take it back and through your throat. We end up just a handful of breaths. Listen to the sound of your breath. And if you're a down dog, feel your hands, feel your feet. 
Good. Inhale, raise that right leg up and back behind you. Good. And then we're going to step that right foot in between the hands. Pop the left foot in a little bit too. Both toes are pointing forward, both sets of toes, feet on two different tracks, and a half wing lift here. So hands might be on blocks. Good. Pyramid legs. And you feel the crown of the head reaching forward. Then we'll fold over that right leg. Let the head drop. Maybe even give that head a little wobble around. And then return to that halfway lift and we're gonna walk the hands around to the right. So uh, the inner thighs are gonna to touch together. Feeling the white big toe press into the ground. Good, big breath in. And then let's walk the hands back around to the top of the mat. And from here, we're gonna step that left foot all the way back. We're gonna wiggle that right foot out to the side and we're gonna come into this high lizard pose. Your hands might be up on some blocks here. You might consider bringing your forearms down onto the blocks. We're gonna keep that left knee up just for now. And really feel those strong legs. Okay, if you're feeling it, you might wrap that right arm underneath the right leg. Kind of sit your right thigh on the back of that right arm or not. <laughs> There's always that. Good. And then if you've done that twirly thing, come on back, both hands on the blocks, walk them forward. Right hand is going to be about as far away from the right foot as your shoulder is from your half moon pose. Maybe lift up that left arm, your left hand to the hip. And notice that right hand. Three big breaths. And then let's set that left foot down. And we're going to take a little squat here. So feet about as wide as the mat, pull the toes out. And yay, we're close to the ground. Maybe it's a little rock from side to side here. There's some stillness. Take a couple breaths. And when you feel good and ready, make your way back and through a flow of your choice. Maybe you're stepping back to down dog or hopping back to plane. Maybe you want to find child pose. Spend a little bit of extra time in your back bend. It's whatever works. From here, we set left leg up and back. Hold it high wherever you are. And then we'll set that left foot to the top. Pop we'll the right foot in a bit. Both heels plug in. Both sets of toes point forward. And halfway lift. Right, feel that left big toe press down and forward, right heel press back. Breathing. If you want to hold over the left side, feel free. Maybe you prefer the half foot. Step that right foot all the way to the back of the mat. We're going to bring both blocks to the inside of that left uh, foot here and take a tall lizard pose. And maybe your hands are on blocks and the forearms might come down. And then yeah, maybe there's a little twirl of that left arm around the back of that left leg. And just taking a couple breaths here into the weird. And then we're going to take our hands back onto the blocks and let's make our way into Ardha Chandrasana. Right leg lifts. I'm a big fan of like a two block situation here too. Both hands on blocks. They just do what works. Mm -hmm. And if you end up doing that, it's the sound of your breath. And 
Good, and then go ahead and set that right foot down at the top of the mat. Uttanasana, standing forward fold. And rub your ankles. I bet they want a little attention. Maybe rub your arm chin. Maybe you want to give the outer part of your leg a little tap back. Your hands, your calves. Good. Find your knees. Say bang, little pat down. Good. And then the thighs as well. And another deep breath. All righty, and then we're going to set the feet a little further apart again. Heels in, toes out, let's find our squat. Here in the squat, right hand down, maybe on a block. Left hand might reach up. Left hand might sit on that left knee as you sort of twist through the spine. Here. Take it on over to the other side, left arm over the inside of that left knee, right arm might reach high here. Good. And then we'll set that right hand down and fold it on forward. Inhale, halfway lifts. Exhale, plant the palms, take it back and through your flow. And any old flow. Maybe doing a strong thing, or maybe resting, maybe shaking out the head or wiggling in some way. Good. And then we'll see if you make it back to down dog, your hands and knees. Raise the right leg up and back. Exhale, step that right foot forward. Good. We're going to come back into pyramid pose in our blocks. Good. So finding a nice strong lower body and then a nice strong and long spine, the muscles that surround the spine. Right. And then we're going to keep our left hand down, bring our right hand around to the low back. And a little revolve triangle. And maybe it feels nice to reach that right arm up too. Oh, try to breathe here. <laughs> I bet you can do it. And when you're good and ready, feel free to set that right arm back down to the ground. Good. We're going to step that left foot all the way to the back of the mat. Let's drop the left knee down. And we're going to focus on um, a little bit of lifting up here in this low lunge. A little bit of back bending to make the blocks walk back with you. You might look up, maybe look forward. The right knee down the block. Let's take that left arm high. Big stretch. And then maybe over to the right. Good. And then from here, we're going to take that left elbow down on top of the right knee. And maybe the third foot. Or we're going to take that left hand down to the block. One twist here. Right hand on top of that right block. So whatever feels up to you. Good. Another three drops here. So, come on, and make our way back. Downward facing dog. As you find your downward dog, maybe a little flow through, a little chaturanga if you would like it. Maybe a little time in child pose if you'd like it. Okay, and then we'll reach that left leg up and back behind, hold it high. Take your left foot forward. Pop the right foot in about halfway. Yep, pyramid pose. Using the blocks to find the halfway lift here. Good, strong lower body. Good. And then revolve triangle. Left hand comes around to the lower back. Good. Or maybe even reach up that towards the ceiling. Think about really engaging that back knee. Press down through your right heel. 
in, a deep breath in, and then a big breath out. Go ahead and drop that left hand down. Let's step the right foot all the way back. Drop the right knee down. We're gonna find this little lunge here. Maybe walking our blocks with us. Work side the hips. Good. Maybe there's some sort of little back bend going on. And continue to look forward. Then right arm reaches high. And then maybe even tips over across the midline. And then our twist, some kind of twist, right hand down, left hand up, or prayer twist. Right elbow to the left knee. Palms proud, maybe. Good. Good. So twists are kind of complicated. Try to keep your breath sort of slow and deep. Steady. All right. And then eventually we're going to release on out of this. Good. And let's make our way back into downward facing dog. You find your downward facing dog. This could lead you into another way to go. Then you want to spend time shaking your legs and down to the left. You're lifting one leg and the other. Maybe it's kind of longer time or rough time. All right. From your downward dog or from your hands and knees, raise your right leg up and back. Then step your right foot in between your hands. We're going to walk those blocks forward again. Our blocks are getting a lot of mileage today. So we lift up that left leg. Think about keeping it more or less parallel with the ground. And think about also flexing through that left foot, maybe pressing back through the heel here, if that feels all right. And then inner thighs kind of turn towards each other and swing. And that right hand might sweep around to the back. Chest turning to the right. Maybe that right arm reaches up, maybe not. And revolve half moon. Hard breathe in, hard and chinkasana. And set that right hand back down to the block if it's not already there. Or just for ha ha, maybe open it up into another half moon where perhaps you want to bend that left knee. And sometimes I'll take my hand to my back here. You could also reach for your feet in that left foot if you want to. The left hand. Good. And then let's set that left hand back down on the block. Step the left foot all the way back. Walk the hands around to the left. Standing wide angle. Just hang in here for a moment. So take notice of your ankles. It might be nice to consider spreading your toes out sort of wide here. Maybe gently pointing the big toes inward so the inner arch can lift a little bit. And we'll take one more breath. Good. Let's inhale halfway lift. And then let's come all the way up, reaching those arms high. Let's find goddess pose here. Good. As you sink the hips down and notice your feet again. Really feel them like little steering wheels on the ground. Your toes keeping you balanced. And then we'll stand up nice and tall. Reach those arms high. Turn the right toes towards the top. Triangle pose. Right hand comes down onto the right shin. Or maybe a block or the floor. The left arm might reach out past the head here just for a second. And then we'll take that left hand down to the ground. Right hand too, framing the foot. Step on back, downward dog. Good, make your way through your flow.
from the down dog, our hands and knees, left leg stretches up and back this time. Okay, left foot steps forward. Let's walk those blocks up to raise the right leg, lifting it to parallel ground. Maybe flexing that foot if it works. And then, yeah, think about those inner thighs kind of magnetizing towards the midline. Left hand might come around to the low back here. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe that left arm reaches up. All right, let's set that left hand down on the ground for the block and then open up through the right hip, Arda Chagrasana. And the right hand might come up. We're not. I and mean, then, yeah, you could consider bending that right knee, stretch through the front of that right hip a little bit, right thigh. Back down to the ground, raising the hips, send that right leg back, and walk the front of the ground around to the right. <laughs> Standing wide angle. Let that head drop. Good. Give it a little wobble. Yeah, and if you want to deeply bend one knee and deeply bend the other knee and kind of walk side to side, it'd be a nice time to do that. Left hand somewhere on that chin. Sometimes I like to massage the side of my waist ribs with the other hand. You can also lift it up, reach it out. Good. And then we'll roll forward again. Both hands frame that left foot. We'll step it on back to downward facing dog. Good. The flow of your choice. Are you resting or moving? Are you strong or soft? Inhale, look forward from wherever you are. So then bring your feet on up to the top of the mat. And slowly we're going to roll up to standing. Up right again. Yes. But maybe not for long. We're going to stand on that right foot and bring the left knee. Okay, looking for your balance. Maybe you need to move a little bit to find your balance. Right hand on the left knee, left arm reaches back, a little twist. Let's come back through the center, and then from here, let's come into a standing split. Both hands come on down, left arm, leg reaches up. Good. We'll set that left foot down next to the right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Let's inhale, come all the way up. Okay, feel your mouth close for that. Put both of your feet on the ground. And we're going to stand up on that left foot to bring that right knee up. Yeah, maybe your sense of balance is great today. Maybe it's totally not like mine. Spend a moment so we're feeling it out. And then left hand to the right knee. Well, you know, maybe that right arm reaches back. A little twist here. And eventually come back to the center with the upper body. And then we're going to pull forward, bending that right leg high or something like it. <laughs> Mm 
good. And then step that right foot down next to the left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, take it back and through your flow. Send that right leg up and back behind us. Right knee slides through in between your hands. Good. So something kind of pigeon-like here. If this is not quite so happy for the knees, hips, whatever, lean over onto your right glutes and slide that left thigh up. And then we'll just fold over that right leg. Good. You get yourself settled in towards the ground here. See if your breathing can slow down a little bit. Really, it's just one tiny shift in that direction at a time. Longer than the last exhale. Start to lift yourself on up and out of this. We're gonna rock over into the right hip and that left leg's gonna be on nice and long here. And then we take a turn towards that left leg and fold over it. Maybe you can grab a hold behind the knee, the calf. Maybe you're sitting up tall, maybe a forward turn just feels very awkward. <laughs> just a few moments to settle in and breathe. Walk the hands back around to sort of frame that right knee. And we're going to come back through hands and knees or a three legged dog or a downward dog. And if you like the idea of flowing through Chaturanga or something like that, go ahead. <laughs> Maybe you like the idea of curling up in a ball for a few moments. Coming on back through the downward dog, our hands and knees will lift that left leg up. And then slide that right, or sorry, left knee in between the hands, looking for pigeon or deer pose. Deer pose by sliding that right side to touch the left foot. Okay, folding forward when you're ready. That and lift yourself on up and out of it. And then just lean over into that left hip. And we're going to make a turn towards that right leg. And fold over it if that works in your body. If you're sitting upright, if you prefer. Up your hands back around to the top of the mat, tuck your right toes underneath and make your way back and through to maybe your left downward dog. 
Maybe your last little flow through. And then eventually we're going to find a child's pose, setting those knees down. And maybe you have a little something underneath the upper body for comfort, a couple of blocks, or you could, yeah, take child's pose in any way that feels good to your body. Let's just settle in for a few moments, curl up into a ball. So from here, if you want to, you might roll up onto the top of your head, bringing your hands on either side, palms facing down. The little rabbit pose, the knees under the hips. And then another little added thing you could do is send your hands up towards the ceiling and interlace the fingers, shoulder stretch. And if rabbit is not your friend, hang out in the child's pose. And eventually, let's come on out of this, and we're going to roll forward onto our belly. And as you find your belly, let's just send that left arm out to the side, palm facing down. We'll take a little roll over and stretch through that left shoulder. Good. Both knees to be bent in, or maybe there's a little kickstand. That right arm will come out to the side, calm down. Good, same thing. Stretching through the right shoulder this time. And we bring ourselves back through to the center. And, and then from here, bend the knees, rock the lower legs from side to side and massage the thighs a little bit. And maybe you're even rocking those low legs around in a circle. And reach your left foot back to your, or, no, sorry, your left hand back to your left foot. And maybe reach your right hand back to your right foot. Right, maybe there's a connection made. Maybe you're reaching in that direction. But let's think about sort of pressing the front of the pelvis down to stretch through the tops of the thighs. And then, yeah, if you like a bow pose, I don't know who loves this, but <laughs> uh, maybe you do. <laughs> maybe you want to press the feet into the hands and lift up. Right, maybe you want to release those legs long and find a locust pose here, a strong back of the body. Keeping you lifted. Good. Eventually, we're going to take a little sphinx pose, elbows under the shoulders. Oh, relaxing some of that effort. Maybe even giving your hips a little wobble side to side. Hey, let's slide that right arm underneath the left and then roll over onto our backs. Ah, we found our backs again. Hooray. Good. Let's take our blocks and place them underneath our pelvis. I like to make like a little table for my whole entire pelvis. Maybe you're a one block kind of person, and that's fine too. <laughs> Okay, we'll send the feet up towards the ceiling. Legs up the invisible wall. 
And just let your arms arrange themselves. They might be out to the sides. They might be out past your head. Or even hands resting on the belly of your chest. Good. Feet hovering above the rest of you. Take the soles of the feet down to the ground. And then this is your choice. You can keep them just like that. Take this restorative bridge pose. Put your pelvis a little bit above your heart. Knees up high. Or you could slide one or maybe both of your legs out long here. Finding a whole lot of space to the front of the body. And just as long as your low back is okay with that. And if not, Feet on the ground. Just think almost nothing left to do now. <laughs> so just lay here and sink into the floor and the props. Notice what your breathing is like now. And then when you are ready, you can take those blocks out from underneath you. As you come on out, it might be nice to have both of your blocks. We're going to scoot the hips off to the left and drop the knees off to the right. And I love wedging a block behind my back and placing one in between the knees to really stabilize the pelvic area so that most of the twisting can happen above there, right, from the navel on up. And if you don't love the idea of using blocks, just do what you like to do. <laughs> Settle in and breathe here. I'm going to wiggle on out of this and gently remove props as we've got them, snuggle you in. And we'll come on through to the other side. Twist with the knees to the left. on back through, removing the props if you got them, and just into any final pose that feels right to you. And if there's anything you felt like you needed to do before you settled into Shavasana, feel free. Maybe Shavasana is not your favorite. Maybe you like to curl up on your side or even sit up in meditation. Just find something that feels comfortable and restful for yourself.
want to like start with you just sort of touching your thumb to your yeah. fingers or closing your hands, wiggling your toe. Maybe a little rocking your head side to side. Maybe you like a big stretch, or maybe you're just like done with that. You want to curl up in a ball. <laughs> Eventually, we'll all make our way up to a seat. And yeah, just know there's a rush. There's a lot of movement, guys. We did it. Yay. <laughs> a lot of awkward poses tonight. <laughs> Once you find your seated situations, think about sitting up nice and tall and dignified. And your collarbone broaden a little bit, your shoulders balance up above your pelvis, and then your head nice and strong above the heart, heart above the hips. Okay, let's bring our hands together in front of us and give them a good rub and warm them up. And then we're going to take one of our hands to our forehead and the other hand to the base of the skull and just deliver a little bit of this warmth to our own mind, <laughs> to our own brain. And a nice deep breath in. And then as you exhale, drop your hands down to the heart, drop the head down, honoring your practice. <laughs> 